Jesus Christ, dear children. Hello, dear children. Jesus loves children and he likes to play with you, to listen to you. Did you know that Jesus used to always call children to come close to him? This whole year, we are going to learn about the beautiful creation of God, the beautiful world around us. Today, we are going to learn something very exciting. We are going to learn about the church in chapter 10, Jesus who went to the temple. First of all, let us begin our class with a small prayer. Why? Because prayer is like talking to God. We are inviting God to come to us during this class and asking Him for His blessings. Children, now join your hands and repeat after me. O oh God, Thank you for this beautiful day and for loving us so much. Thank you for bringing us together once again to learn more about you. Help us to be more obedient like you. Mary, our mother, pray for us. Amen. Let us now do a recap of what we had learned in our previous class. We had learned that Jesus in his young years obeyed his parents, helped them in their work and grew up in favour before God and man. Just like that, Jesus wants us to obey our parents and elders and grow in holiness. You should help your parents and try to carry out small items of work entrusted to you at home and grow up as good children. We heard the story of Arun and his mother Julie and how Arun was disobedient to his mother and got into deep trouble in the overflowing waters of a river. We also learned a beautiful Bible verse. And Jesus increased in wisdom and in years and in divine and human favor. From Gospel of Luke chapter 2 verse 52. I also hope you all have completed your activity and shown it to your teacher. Today, we will learn about something that happened to Jesus when he was 12 years old. Let's listen to this story from the Bible. When Jesus was a little boy, his family moved to the town of Nazareth. Jesus grew up doing the things that little boys do. He played with his friends. He studied as well. Now, as Saint Joseph, his father, was a carpenter, Jesus learned how to help him make things from wood. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. This was a religious holiday and a special ceremony. Joseph always took part in the celebration. Finally, when Jesus was 12 years old, he went with Mary, his mother, and Joseph to the temple of Jerusalem on the occasion of this great feast. Jerusalem was a beautiful city and everyone was there to worship God. When the feast was over, Mary and Joseph and all the pilgrims left Jerusalem to go home. 
but Jesus without saying anything to them remained in the temple he went to that part of the temple where the learned people and scholars were explaining the sacred books mother mary and joseph were already on their way back to nazareth it was only in the evening that they noticed that young jesus was not with them or anywhere in their group they looked for him everywhere but could not find him children do you know where jesus was was he lost or did something happen to him mama mary was worried about jesus they frantically started looking around and asking other people whether they had seen him anywhere so early next morning they went back to jerusalem and found jesus amidst the wise men jesus was with the teachers of the law and he was asking them questions jesus enjoyed learning and listening so much that he stayed back to hear and learn more everyone there in the temple were amazed at how much this boy understood god's word you know children mother mary and joseph were upset when they couldn't find jesus they were upset because jesus did not tell them that he was staying back he was so immersed in listening to the teachers that he forgot to inform his parents now let us hear what happened when they found jesus when mother mary and joseph met jesus mary told jesus they had been frantically searching all over the place for him she wanted to know why he was still there at the temple jesus cast a glance of affection at his mother and sweetly replied why were you searching for me he then asked his mother did you not know i had to be in my father's house jesus knew that god was his father and that the temple was god's special house and that his first duty was to serve him when mary and joseph heard this they knew that jesus was growing up in holiness and as the almighty god wanted him to he was understanding more and more about his heavenly father they knew that it would not be long before he was a man but he was not a man yet he was only 12 years old jesus traveled back to nazareth and he obeyed his parents in everything they said jesus helped the family and was a good son Jesus worked along with Joseph and learned to be a carpenter. He made his mother and Saint Joseph very happy. So children, what did you learn from this story? You see children, as Jesus was growing up, he knew he had to serve God first. we learned that jesus was indeed growing 
but not just in his body he not only grew taller but grew in wisdom as well god was pleased with him and so was everyone who knew him and children why do you think jesus's visit to the temple was important it was important because jesus showed that he is the son of god and that he came to do god's will it showed that he was eager to learn more it showed that even as a young child learning about god and discussing about god's teachings is important so you see children like jesus we must also serve god first and also must continuously learn the word of god to become god's beloved children now church is the house of god the place where god dwells in the church all people together worship god listen to his word and pray to god just like jesus you should go to the church to worship god in holy qurbana and whenever you get a chance you must discuss about god's teachings and try to learn more and more you must participate in your church activities events and be an active learner just like young jesus will you do that children i know you all will do so as you all love jesus very much isn't it children now let us learn a bible verse for the day praise god in his sanctuary from psalm chapter 150 verse 1 Try to memorize this Bible verse dear children repeat after me once more praise god in his sanctuary now it's activity time let us do a small activity during this week for this week's activity let's take a chart paper and draw the picture of a church as shown in the screen and color it the church can be like the one shown in the picture you can use your imagination to make it more pretty take a picture of this chart and send it to your teacher before the next class i am sure you will enjoy doing this activity okay children that brings us to the end of this class let us conclude today's class with a small prayer oh jesus thank you for the knowledge we learn today Give us the grace to serve you always and put you first above everything. Amen. So dear children, we will meet again next week to discuss the remaining part of this chapter. Till then, keep smiling because Jesus loves you. See you next week dear children.